I'm holding a drone fly controller, legendary Pixel, and from a web browser, I can monitor onboard parameters in real time. In this video, I'll go over how you can uh, duplicate on your side as well. And by the way, the rest of the gauges here are not moving, and that's simply because the data is not provided. To do so, I'd have to attach sensors like pitot tube or barometer on this fly controller. However, I wanted to keep this tutorial as simple as possible by only focusing on how to complete this uh, pipeline setup for real-time broadcasting. So I'll be relying on the default data that comes out from this device only. So if you're ready, let's just get started. So in order to broadcast the drone data in real time, I am using Pixel device like this. I just connected the USB and it's that simple. And just in case if you are not familiar with Pixel and Mavlink, uh, it's just an open source flight controller software and device. And then you can tinker uh, your code if you wish. And I do have a full course about this, so check out later. And then when you connect this USB like this, this device will send out the data, but it's a binary data, so you can't really directly read it. And then you'd need a map link, which is a data protocol project. Once you parse it, you'll be able to read the data so that you can do some data analysis on whatever that is. If you're like me, back in the school, I just wanted to collect the data and then with a simple standalone Python code, I just wanted to do some quick tasks, but I couldn't do it because I didn't know how to parse it. And I don't think I was that stupid, but I still couldn't figure it out. And that's because not me, but this documentation is now well organized. So if you are like me, if you're stuck, you are an awesome person. It's not you. You are not alone. And let me go over this with you because it's super simple. To begin with, I have uploaded all this code necessary for this video on my blog. So I'll put this link in the down and in the description section or comment section. So don't worry too much about following all the code. And then assumption for this video is I am using the Ubuntu or WSL. And on top of this operating system, you need the Docker. By the way, if you are not familiar with Docker, I do have this uh, free Docker course. So check out this. Docker is like really basic tool like Git. So if you don't know Docker, I recommend learn Docker and get familiar with it. So first thing I'm just going to do here is copy paste this Docker Compose file. Now you can expand the view or actually doesn't matter because I'm going to copy all. And then I'll make a new folder called, I don't know, uh, not there, but on the root. Simple map link. Clean. And then in that folder, I will create a file called docker-compose.yaml and then paste all this. And the most important thing here is that you need to attach this device uh, folder to Docker's device folder. And that's all. Then I'll get into CD simple stream and I'll just run docker compose up dash D. Then I'll attach Visual Studio Code here. And I have this Docker container running. Then Visual Studio Code is attached on this Docker container. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm using this specific image, and that's because I have installed all this necessary environment for developing Pixel and RS and all that. So you don't have to worry about installing uh, the dependencies and so on. And then the next thing I'm going to do is let's copy paste the code. Copy this. I will install the WebSocket for Python for later use. So I'll just run this first. Let me use this file, wakeup.py, and I'll just, I don't know, I'll, let's just use this default application and I'll create wakeup.py. I'll copy paste all this here. And then I can, yeah, I can install Python um, stuff. That's fine. All right, and then the, what the code is doing here is using the pi mouth link, and then it will send out this uh, heartbeat to wake up this device because by connecting this USB for the first time, it will boot up, but by default, this device is not sending out the data. So you need to send a heartbeat from your computer to this device. Then uh, this device will start sending out the data. So this is a wake up script. So here, just a simple function, and then you are creating the connection with the map link to this device location, and then sending out all this zero heartbeat sending, just 
So let me Python wake up I that help it from target system one is received. So this is a basic script that you want to use. Um, and I actually didn't know. And that's why I struggled a lot. This is one little secret. And then the next thing is I will use another code. Create, uh, I don't know, parse mobblink.py. Okay. And I copy paste all these. Now here, as you can see, I'm calling this wake up function from this file. So I'll always, all the time, just make sure that the device is waking up. And then I will be receiving all this data in the while loop. And it's that simple. It's just, that's it. Using PyMavLink and you don't need to do anything else. So let me type Python parse mavlink.py. And then as you can see, uh, the data is now being parsed in real time from this device. And I don't know if you can see that the data itself is changing, but as I change the attitude of this device, um, it's coming out. I think this is enough. If you just need to collect the data, this is all you need. And then to make it a little more interesting, let me create a WebSocket server using this. Then I'll just create another file here. WSSRV for server, WebSocket server. And then I will type all this in. And only difference between uh, the previous thing is that I have a WebSocket server, which is just a boiler template code to run this broadcasting server. Then the same as before, let me go over from this first use a thread to start the WebSocket server. And then you need to send herpy data to wake up this device and then create connection at this location. And then using the while loop, you read attitude data from this device. And then this devices, the binary data has this type attitude that is, it will uh, match the data and I will parse it. So if the data is not matched as attitude, it's just going to be known. So we'll just pass it. If it is not known, I'll do something. Instead of printing this attitude as before, I am um, attaching this data into this global flight data struct or dictionary or JSON, whatever that is into here in the in this global data, and then I'm updating all this data as the while loop goes on. Since this global flight data is a literally global variable, this WebSocket server can read this and then dump into string and then send out to the client. And that's it. So to do that, Python, WSSRV, I, and then it will be running at port 9090 at your local host. And, um, you can click this link to view in the, the new tab. So I'll just connect it with socket because uh, this IP address is the local host and 9090 is the port number for this server. So just connect it and then it's connected. And it's receiving the data in real time. And then you can actually monitor the onboard flight parameter in real time. And then if you want to publish in the in internet, you can open an AWS EC2 then others can see your flight data in real time publicly. So that's it. It's super simple. Please let me know if you have any questions about Mavlink and Pixoak. Please comment down below. And if you think this video is helpful, like this video and subscribe and share this video with your friends and colleagues. And that's it for today. This is Elliot. I will see you in the next video.